Hello. I hope that you're doing well. Today we have rain and thunderstorm, and it's, the weather is so grey and gloomy, so I thought the best way to lift my mood is to sit and film a video. So, here I am, and I thought, why don't I film an oh yes, I love it. <laughs> um, if you're new, oh yes, I love it are my monthly favorite videos where I share my favorite things that I'll be using oldies and goodies and newies and goodies, just like that luxurious red box that you see behind me. This is the freshest addition to my fragrance collection. It's Armani. See? Give it a box. this box. And now, this is the original Armani C. Which my sister bought when she was in France with a great discount. And I was very happy because I have been using a fragrance very similar to Armani C, the original, not the Passione or the other flankers, it's the original. For many, many months. And now I have the original. So the fragrance that I'll be using, I even made a video about it. They will remember me forever with this. This. This is Dossier with Ephrasia. Inspired by Armani C. Where is the bottle? Here it is. So, here's the bottle of Armani C. Gorgeous, and here's the bottle of dossier. Of course, on the bottle of dossier or the box of dossier, let me show you. Yes, they're not looking as luxurious as Armani. It looks very simple, it's vegan and cruelty free. But dossier, they make perfumes that are inspired by famous fragrances and sometimes they just take that box so well. It's so long lasting, this fragrance, and those of you who bought this and then wrote to me, you are so happy with it. Even the longevity of these two fragrances is very similar, even though this one is the of the price, it doesn't last much less than this one. And someone asked me to spray this into the camera, so there you go. <laughs> Enjoy the scent. Do you feel it? Mm, it smells of black currant, vanilla, and sugar rose petal. And now at Dossier, they have a new way of payment. They now have catch, so you can pay with catch, which is that if you pay credit, you can get 10% uh, off basically of your purchase. So redeem 10% of your purchase. And if you're new to catch, then you will get literally additional. $10 off. So, if you're new to catch, you will get 10% off and $10 off your purchase at Dossier, which is 
Another fragrance I love at Dossier is Musky Rose, which is inspired by uh, my favorite Narcisa Rodriguez for her. Here I have the Musky Rose in this box, a fresh new box. And I really, really love and recommend it. And I'm just so happy that now I have both versions. The original and the dossier and I am stunned to discover that mm, that the difference is very minor between them mm, it smells amazing so let me know which is your favorite fragrance at the moment are you using dossier or are you using only designer fragrances or niche? Um, let me know. I'm also looking into the Victoria's Secret fragrances or body mist right now because they are having their semi-annual sale. So let me know and also I will leave in the description box all the links to dossier because I do collaborate with them as a blogger and I'm only collaborating with brands that I like for your information again if you're new to that you should know so let me put on some mm, those you should make some lotions probably with their fragrances they have candles and I also got this lotion it's a body lotion but I also put it on my hands it smells really good Smells like the fragrance. I love it. I put it on my legs and sometimes on my hands, and it just smells so good. I really like it. Now, the next favorite that it deserves to be in this video is a really, let me put the Armani box here back so it's pretty. Money Siba. Yeah. And the dossier bottle. So we have a pretty background over there. Now, it's my have a favorite lip gloss. Now you may think that like a lip gloss is a lip gloss, so what is there to be a favorite? But despite the fact that I have many lip glosses, this is the lip gloss that I always kind of want to grab when I'm putting lip gloss on. This just is my favorite. This is by Bobbi Brown. It just looks so beautiful. Bobbi Brown and the color is Bellini. I've been using this lip gloss for years. <laughs> I don't know how many. Actually, my sister bought this for the first time. And now she's using Fenty. And I like Fenty, but for me, the taste was maybe... But maybe I'll get used to it. To me, it smelled like, like a really strong scent of Skittles. But when I first was using this, I didn't like the scent of it. Now I really like it smells of mint a little bit but uh, it doesn't last long or anything just a really nice color oops love that sound like that boop 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 so if you purchase it always purchase when something is on sale or you can purchase it with um like catch for instance like dossier because then that gives me a certain sense of satisfaction and I think it will give to you too like even if you can't afford it and I've always wanted to save a little bit if you can especially that this is a higher end makeup brand Bobbi Brown and so of course there are cheaper uh, lip glosses, but I always like to wait for like the New Year's, Christmas, or 
summer sales, just any sort of sales and get my most favorite one because I just love it so much. It has literally such beautiful sparkles inside of it. They're like crushed diamonds, but it's not like big chunky sparkles in your lips. It's just crushed, crushed diamonds. I already have it on, I don't want to put more because I don't want it to like it, it's so hot <laughs> despite the thunderstorm now another favorite um, is totally a new favorite <laughs> it's the eyeshadows of John Collins and I got two of them I'm not wearing any eye makeup now I think I'm wearing a little, a teeny, tiny bit of mascara, but almost none because that mascara, I was running out of it, so my, literally, like, maybe there is no mascara on my lashes because they're just so soft now. So, but trust me, I am using them and I am loving them. So this is by John Collins, and I got both uh, eyeshadows. One is, um, in grey and silver and the other one is gold and browns now first of all let's look at the packaging anyone who has seen this packaging can you see the different details? they are so beautiful anyone who has seen it they said to me how beautiful is this? what is this? If they saw it in my makeup bag, oh my god, this dosia fragrance that I spray, sprayed in the air together with the Armani C lotion just smells so good. Literally, my room now smells so good, you guys. If you like Armani C, but you can't afford it, please try the dosia version. You will love it. It smells so good. Mm. Anyways, anyone who has seen this has said, oh, it's beautiful, such beautiful. What is it? What is it? <laughs> it's a rare makeup brand. You'll not find it just in any store. It's John Collins. John Collins is a British actress. I should probably make a video just about her, dedicated to her and to other actresses. And she has her makeup brand apparently. And I purchased some products. I purchased her eyeshadows which I absolutely love. These are uh, four shades. They blend really well. Uh, they last. They don't crease at all. And I really like them. Uh, these are more cooler toned browns with, um, with a very noble, very regal gold. Because sometimes golds can be rusty. And that is probably good for people of color because it can look good on them. But if you're pale, then those colors don't really look good on you. Unless you're tan. And the second one. Second one. This is, this comes in a box. The second one is gray and silver. And this is what very pretty and I'm happy that's not a very big palette because unless I make the palette myself there are always colors I don't use and here I'm using all the colors the packaging is gorgeous misty blacks and silver I also purchased um, a lipstick foundation uh, concealer I loved the foundation the concealer is so good the concealer is like touche la but better it doesn't get into whatever lines or whatever just even in the heat it's so good the only thing that I did not like was the eyeliner even though it, it's super black super super black it's the blackest eyeliner I've ever seen which is amazing but if you don't put eyeshadow on top of it and it's hot in normal weather, no, it doesn't do it but if it's hot, it will start um, melting so I put it 
on my waterline and then I discovered it under my eyes but when I had mm, put it on and then on top of it I put the eyeshadow the same brand it stayed in place I cannot find just like my perfect waterline black eyeliner it seems to be such a hard thing to do and I also got the lipstick she has a whole line of lipsticks and there were colors I wanted to get like Marilyn Helen uh, Marilyn and Helen were the ones that I really wanted to get the lipsticks are called by the characters she's ever played but unfortunately neither Helen nor Marilyn were um, available and I wrote to them if they've been discontinued or they will be back I've never got back from them I just never heard back from them here's the packaging it's really beautiful and don't even try to say this looks like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks have the design of the old-fashioned glamour lipsticks which is amazing and this is the same so I really like the design of it and here you have her initials and so I bought the color that is called oh my god am I sweating or what? so I bought the color that is called Lady Joan Lady Joan because she's a dame so this is the only color that is not named by a character this is what it looks like I just use it by, with um a lip brush I think that is the best way to apply this it's very creamy and very moisturizing so this is the color we can see it's not a typical color for me but I really liked it on her so I got it the lipstick is very moisturizing and very nurturing which I like I don't like a super matte lipsticks and I find this applies really wonderfully with a brush so there is that uh, and these are my beauty favorites now another thing that has been a big favorite recently is a pie that I've been making and it's a very simple pie I'm not sure everyone will like it it's like when I first heard about it, I was like, this is strange. It's a pie with eggs, uh, eggs and green onion. I made it, I loved it, and I think it's so good for breakfast. And my mom and my sister ate it, they weren't like such a big fan of it, but I really liked it. So I've been making it, I think I made it twice, and I will be making it for my sweet. Patreon members and my YouTube club members if you want by the way to support my channel and also get exclusive content definitely do that on Patreon or join my YouTube members club so <laughs> there you go so I'll be making that for you guys and um, I've also been really listening to um, national music I have been listening to a lot of Sayat Nova who is an Armenian composer mm. and I really love his works I've been listening to a lot of Sayat Nova and honestly, some of his, I will leave in the description box links to some of the songs that I've been listening to. They're like out of this world. I write music, some of you know. And oh my god, his music is just so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Sometimes I wonder what would he think of my music? Like, what would, how, how would you, he could listen to it? And sometimes I imagine like he does. So share with me also what music have you been listening to and what have you been eating 
coming because I'm like really into trying new recipes recently so yeah there is another pie that I really want to try with fish I've never tried that there is an older lady, a Russian lady that I'm watching really interesting lady you guys and she said that she, when she was getting married to an Armenian who is from France and there's a whole lot of drama her channel is called Madame S Tignyvinik Madame S Diaries of Madame S <laughs> um, I really respect such people who are, can be very open because I'm such a closed person I feel and I'm learning to be more open and she, as she was talking about her marriage and later she, she's now going through divorce and that on her wedding when they came back from the media they, um, she had made a pie with fish and the French were so surprised and the Armenians who were from France they were so surprised they had never seen anything like that I'm going to try it but I have to write her in the comments her channel is quite popular but I'm going to write to her in the comments and ask her to share the recipe the way that she made it because I'm just so interested in the way that she made it for her wedding I want to make it and try it for myself interesting recipes write down in the comment section below well, I guess that this was it for today I hope that you enjoyed this video and you will try this product John Collins Armani C Armani C you literally can try in any Sephora for instance I really like their also the eau de toilette I think they stopped making it it was more airy the same scent but more airy dossier guys smells really good try it I promise you I would never recommend you something and then the next video will be Sheen they sent me a huge parcel, parcel of clothes that I chose myself and I had to make a post by 22nd of June and I couldn't because I was so busy so I don't know how upset they are with me but I will make that video still maybe in a format of a vlog like an ASMR vlog because some dress is so beautiful oh my god there's one that was made by a designer she painted the fabric so it, the fabric has the print of her art it's so beautiful, such a beautiful dress and it's made of silk so I can't wait to share with you I actually wanted to put it on today as I'm filming but I was like no, no, no I can't spoil it, I have to um, wait, okay? so I hope that you enjoyed this video, sweet dreams and or if you were getting a nap wake up, wake up why don't you put a little makeup, makeup ciao cacao, bye why am I strange guys, why?